Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with the register and in this video let's work with login and logout. I'm going to add also two links here. Uh, two links if we are not uh, authenticated. So the login and the register and one link, the logout if we are authenticated. Right now we are authenticated for that we see this uh, create link because in the index page in the post index page we put this section inside this auth uh, blade directive which means only the authenticated user can see that now let's add two links there so i'm going to open the nav bar and here we have the home and post links and i'm going to copy this and duplicate so let's copy and duplicate this one one is going to be for the login link and one for the register okay now let's change also the shref which is going to be for this one i'm going to use the route so let's use the route and say a login here and this one is going to be register so route register okay also the same thing here if the request is login and if the request is uh, register okay now if i save that come here we have the login and register but we want to show them only if we are not logged in right now we are logged in for that we see this create link so if we are logged in i want just add another link so let's copy that and this is going to be the logout link for now just let me see yeah now how we can hide the login and the register to show only if we are not authenticated and the logout only if we are authenticated for the logout we are okay because we learned in the previous one we can put that inside this auth uh, blade directive so let me cut this and say out and paste that in now for the login and register which we want to be visible only if we are not logged in not authenticated we can use else here so let's say else and put that in save now we see only the logout or let me just move this else we have the opposite of the auth blade directive which is quest which means if the user is not authenticated what we put inside this quest is going to be visible and if the user is authenticated it's not going to be visible okay so if i come here now yeah we have only the logout okay first i'm going to work with the logout because we have here and for that let's open the web routes and register the route because we don't have the route we have the route for the login and logout okay and let's uh yeah not g get logout we need to use a post method because we are not showing anything here just use the login user controller and the method is going to be logout and the name let's name it logout okay let's save and now let's open this login user controller and let's create that method so here we are going to create the first the login then the store validate the form data and then let's create the logout method okay so for the logout we need the request so let's use the request dollar sign request and first i'm going to use the out facade and yeah we can call directly the logout or we can use the guard and the name of the guard is web because we are working with the web not with the api and then call the logout this is going to log the user out but also i want because here we have the request for that i want the request here i want the uh, destroy the session so say request session invalidate 
and also request session regenerate token so it's going to generate a new token for us and then i'm going to return to the route uh let's say post index okay let's save this now i'm going to open the browser and refresh just to show you if i inspect the element and go to application cookies and Laravel now we are logged in here if I clean everything and the refresh we are logged out as you can see we have login and register so this is what we are going to do here we log out then uh, invalidate the session and regenerate the token okay as you can see now we have a new token here and new session okay let's close this and i'm going to register for the last time here just some gibberish here and also some gibberish email add a password yeah we are on on the post index page we have this create now because we are logged in and we have the logout okay now when we click to the logout we need to call this method so let's go to navbar and here we have this link but as i told also when we worked with the post delete we don't want to just use the link and post there what we want is i'm going to cut this and use a form so let's say form with the method the be post and the action is going to be route logout okay we need to add also the csrf token and then i'm going to put this now bar logout and also i'm going to close the form now here we have a form we have this link now we can create a button here if we want but let's use a link here because we have the styles and so on and let's say let's add some uh, javascript say here false and then I'm going to use the JavaScript on click event dot prevent default. Okay, and then when we click here, I want to submit this form. So we can say this dot closest form. What we want is to submit that okay so we first on click we say event prevent default so we are going to prevent on click and then this closest form so this form here we are going to submit that when we click to this link let's save and let's see now we have the route logout and the method is post we are okay so let's come here and refresh we click now on the logout and as you can see we log out we don't see the link here we have the login and register if i click the register we navigate there if i click the login we don't have that blade right now so let's go to login user and work with this okay so first i'm going to open the resources views and we have out here and inside the login the data.php i'm going to copy what we have in the register select all copy and paste it here and we need to make some changes instead of a register store we're going to say login store okay so here we have this login store then the method is post we have the csrf token and for the login we need the email and the password so let's remove the name from here we have the email here and the password let's also remove the password confirmation and instead of register we are going to say login let's save let's come here and refresh oh yeah on the login user controller we need to specify this is going to be inside the auth directory and now refresh we have the email and password now let's work with the logic the 
login the user. First, we're going to validate the data. We can say the request validate email is going to be required and email and password is going to be required. Minimum of eight. And also, uh, let's say it's going to be a string. Okay, then we have the validation. Let's log the attempt to log the user in and we can use the and let's leave this one here. Okay, so here we say if out guard web the same we worked with uh, logout and attempt. So this attempt accept an array. So the credentials and we're going to add the email and request email and password the request password and also the request remember, but I'm going to remove that because we don't have that. Just pass in the email and the password. Now, if successful, then redirect to their intended location. So return redirect intended route post index, else. And if is uh, unsuccessful, then redirect back to the login with the form data. So redirect back with errors, email, provided credentials do not match to our records. Okay, so let's try. Let's save this and let's come here. Okay, so now let's try and log in with the John Doe. We have register and add the password. Let's say login. Yeah, we are logged in. We have logout here and uh, create here. Okay, friends, now we have a full authentication, the basic one. That's it all about this video. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you on the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.